to keep playing though, right, Alex? Because she's long. <laughs> sacraments of the Holy Catholic Church as such a wedding is considered to be a sacred ceremony. Therefore I have one inviolate rule when it comes to taking pictures during the actual wedding ceremony. Make sure you get my best side. <laughs> I usually get a better response than that. But <laughs> Priest for a very long time, I've married thousands of couples. The best of my knowledge and belief, not a single one of those couples has ever gotten divorced. There might have been a murder, but we don't talk about that one. The point is, this is the only time you're going to see these two kids get married. So my advice for those of you with cameras and cell phones and all that stuff, take lots of pictures. Lots of pictures. And you can't, can't take a good picture from the back row. And they're not getting married until I get back up here. And I'm not getting back up here until you all come down and take your picture. <laughs> you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you. He's tall, he can manage. <laughs> get thee down here. Or I will wander in, because I'm not thinking of shy. I will pick the hand of one of the pretty girls back there, and I'll bring her up to the the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. We're gathered here today in the presence of God in the company of family and friends and a few people who didn't realize what they're getting into tonight <laughs> to celebrate the wedding of Jody and Scott. We come together not to, not to mark the start of a relationship but to recognize a truly special bond that already exists in this wedding is but one expression of the many many ways in which Scott and Jody love one another. Marriage is a gift from God and a means of His grace in which a man and a woman become one. A man and woman give themselves to each other to care for each other in good times and in bad. They are linked to each other's families and they start a whole new life together as husband and wife. It is a way of life that all should reverence and that none should take lightly. Scott and Jody have come here today to enter into the holy state of matrimony, 
they will give their consent to each other, they will exchange solemn vows, and in token of this, they will each give and receive a ring, right? Who's got the rings? <laughs> my best man. Yeah, okay, the rings. Good man. Good man. <laughs> and I gotta say, my money's on the guy right in the back there of the car. <laughs> if there is anyone here who knows any reason why these two should not be laughing, let's speak now forever. Hold your peace. You had your chance, bud. <laughs> Do either of you know any reason why you should be married? No. I have to ask. Okay. Then for those who will, let us bow our heads in prayer. Almighty God, we give you thanks and glory as we celebrate the marriage of Scott and Jody. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends who have come to share this special day with them. And we thank you especially for those loved ones who are here with us today in our hearts. All glory is yours, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now we have a special treat for you. Shauna is going to read a passage. And I won't tell you where it's from. I'll let you guess later. All right. I know, I guess. I do it. I learned Shauna. If I speak well... If I have absolute faith, if I dispose of all, of, I, of all I possess, but have not love, hope, excuse me, <laughs> I achieve precisely nothing. <laughs> this love of which I speak is slow to lose patience. It looks for a way of being constructive. It is not possessive. It is neither anxious to impress nor does it cherish completed ideas of its own importance. <laughs> Love as competitors, it does not pursue selfish advantage. It is not overly sensitive. It does not keep the count of all the wrongs of others, but is glad when good happens to anyone. Love knows no limit to its endurance. No end to its trust, no fading of its hope. It can outlast anything. It is, in fact, the one thing that still stands when all else has fallen. In this life, we have three great lasting qualities. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Thank you, Shauna. That was beautiful. Now, did I mention there's going to be a snap quiz after this? Just to make sure who was listening. First, for a thousand points, what passage of scripture is that from? First Corinthians 13, a thousand points over here. Now then, what she just finished saying was, in this life we have three great lasting qualities. Faith, hope, and love. And, this is where the audience participation portion of the show comes in, the greatest of these is... Hey, you did it. Good job. <laughs> you paid attention. <laughs> okay, then. Woo. We're almost at the seven inning stretch, okay? We're almost there. It is one of life's richest surprises when the casual meeting of a man and a woman transforms into a deeply committed friendship. It is one of life's finest experiences when this friendship grows and deepens into a permanent and abiding love, a love that convinces them to share their lives together as husband and wife. It is this friendship and this love that brings us here today. Now then, young man, I have this rather long-winded question to ask of you, at the end of which his answer better be, I do. <laughs> Or you ain't walking out of here tonight. <laughs> right? This man's got your back. You lock the doors, right? Okay. Scott, look at her when you answer because you're not coming home with me tonight. <laughs> ain't that kind of priest. Scott, do you give yourself to Jody to be her lawful wedded husband? To love her, comfort her, honor and protect her, and forsaking all others, to be faithful and loyal to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Yeah, yeah. 
Did you hear him in the back row? I do. Okay. Be proud of him. <laughs> Jody, you give yourself to Scott to be his lawful wedded wife, to love him, comfort him, honor and protect him, and forsaking all others, to be faithful and loyal to him as long as you both shall live. I do. Okay, no doubt about that one. <laughs> okay, now looking deeply into Jody's eyes and not mine. Thank you. Repeat after me. I, Scott, take you, Jody. I, Scott, take you, Jody. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. What did he say? <laughs> lawful wedded wife. Oh, good enough. <laughs> To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to honor. To love and to honor. To do all the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> to do all the dishes. Oh, no, hey, 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 we got it in there. To do all the dishes. <laughs> oh, heck, what, what comes next, Scott? For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. According to God's holy law. According to God's, According to God's holy law. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was your part. I'm <laughs> uh, not the one getting married. Yes, am I? <laughs> all right. Jody, your turn. I, Jody, take you, Scott. I, Jody, take you, Scott. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. And you know she means richer. Yeah? Okay, we got that. <laughs> in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to honor. To love and to honor. For the rest of our lives. For the rest of our lives. According to God's holy law. According to God's Hold it off. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I have it. <laughs> okay, let's see if your best man is on his toes. May I have the rings, please? <laughs> First is the big one. Yeah, uh, kind of <laughs> sizing them up here. Yes, yes. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Blessed are you, God of steadfast love, source of all joy and hope. Bless these rings to be given and received, that they may be an outward and visible sign of the vow and covenant that Scott and Jody make to each other and to you this day. Amen. Amen. Okay, you know where uh, this little baby goes? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I should whisper. She'll show you. <laughs> after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With all that I am. With all that I am. And with all that I have. With all that I have. I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. Go, go. Crack. No, it's your wedding. Broken fingers. <laughs> Here it is. Okay. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. That baby's never coming off. That's what no. we want. Yeah. There, there we go. go. We got yeah. it. Oh. <laughs> now you'll never get it. <laughs> it's only just that seventh inning stretch. And <laughs> that two more. Here we go. Okay. No, you know where it goes? Repeat after me. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. With all that I am. And with all that I have. With all that I have. I promise to love you forever. I promise to love you forever. Didn't you have to break his cup off? No. 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 Scott and Jody have chosen to commemorate their wedding with the traditional Celtic ancient Christian tradition of hand fasting. Once, twice, three times. I'm going in there. Oh, yeah. in there.
these hands. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout all of your married years together, throughout a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow at times, and tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear racks your mind. These are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times and happy times. These are the hands that will give you support and encourage you to chase your dreams together. Everything that you wish for, that you could ever dream, will be done together holding these hands. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Almighty God, we ask for your blessing on Jody and Scott. May their love find lasting permanence, bound together in the fabric of life. May the protection of marriage surround them. May it sustain them and comfort them. And in the binding of this cloth, may they remember the binding of their words, their vows of fidelity and trust that they make to each other and to you this day. Though this cloth has two sides, it is of one piece. So now there are two lives, but bound together in one marriage, one heart, one home. Amen. Amen. Jody, you have joined yourselves to each other by solemn vows signified by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. It's my favorite word in the whole ceremony. Therefore, you know why it's my favorite word? The power word. Well, yeah, kind of. It's because of what comes afterwards, actually. Yeah. Therefore, under the authority vested in me by the Marriage Act of the Province of Ontario, and far, far more importantly, by the grace of God Almighty. I do hereby declare that from this day until the end of all days, you are now and forevermore shall be husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put us under. You made it, kid. You know what comes next? You may kiss your bride. <laughs>